What's, What's up, Pondis? Pondis? You're listening to the Pondis All Podcast. Join us as we unpack the flavors of being Filipino and American. We're your hosts, Dre Magics, the fictitious professor, and EJ Billiman. And we hope you're hungry. Because there's plenty to go around. Uh, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Pond Soul Podcast. Take two, uh, the funniest podcast on everywhere. Spotify, YouTube, Apple, Kumu. Be real. Be real. <laughs> Be real. <laughs> TikTok. Oh, TikTok. We're on TikTok. Nice. Um, so today's episode, we're just going to talk about, um, something, wait, let's do the draft first. I think we should, we should draft every episode. We think we should draft. All right. Draft. Oh shit. I forgot it. I had a good one. Open the window. There needs to be a draft. (laughs) I forgot what it was. Really? Yeah. We were talking about something and I was like, oh, that's a good idea for a draft. And Uh, I forgot what it was. Was it initial D? No. No. Cause, cause I mean, that's no, what were we talking about before that? That's drift. A through uh, favorite letters. <laughs> oh, definitely, definitely X. <laughs> mm. What's your draft about? I forgot, bro. Let me let me try and think of it. Anyway, while I think of it, I'll, I'll interrupt in the middle. But while <laughs> I think of it, um, Filipino American History Month is over. At least at the time of the releasing of this pod, how was did your fam go? What did you guys do? What are all the things? While I try and think of this draft idea. Yeah, it was good. I'm trying to remember what I did. My fam's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Your family? Yeah, they're good. Thank yeah. you for asking. I'm glad you care. <laughs> You're welcome, man. Yeah. yeah, it's my mom's birthday. Today? Oh, hap- no, no, uh, earlier this month. Happy nice. belated. Our fam is good. Our fam, my fam. <laughs> Our family, that's when I saw them. <laughs> <laughs> it was basically like, are you okay? You guys good? <laughs> is it a fam event for you guys to meet up with your fam? No. No. no? Coincidence. Coincidence. Coincidence? It's like precedence. Precedence? Coincidence. Uh, think of a draft topic because I'm not going to think of this. It slipped my head and I can't. It's not, getting, it's not coming back. So you know, for some reason, I'm like. your point. your <laughs> point. I'm thinking about like Filipino uh, cultural dances because of fam. I don't know that many. <laughs> <laughs> Top <laughs> three. <laughs> okay, how about this? How about this? No, no, no. <laughs> What else? What's well, it? Panago uh, Sigilao, Sinkil. Oh, yeah. That's the, uh, uh, the um, Arab one, right? Yes. What, the Muslim one? Yeah. Yeah. The princess one, right? Yeah. And one then, of them. Um, oh, there's more? There's a lot. And then. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, that's right. Maglalatik, right? That's the coconut. And wow. then. Itik, itik. That's when that's you're a, the. Buchikik. Yeah. Buchikik. <laughs> that's something else. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a Pokemon. Would you kick his Pokemon? It's yeah. not a Pokemon. Um, <laughs> different kind of Pokemon. Yeah. That's Blackjack. <laughs> no, that's not Blackjack. What? That's Yoyoi. You're just saying sound. No, no, bro. shout out, shout out like, to the older, the like, older Filipino like, crowd. Like, you know Yoyoi Villamis. You're just saying sound. Would you kick? Bong bong. What are other? Hold on, I'm trying to think of more dances, bro. Um, Kaba Modern. <laughs> hip hop uh, is a dance now. Hip hop. Karin Yosa. Ocho Ocho. Ocho Ocho. <laughs> Uh, spaghetti, spaghetti. <laughs> paro paro G. <laughs> hip hip. <Hooray>. Yep. <laughs> we need that soundboard <laughs> next time for Sound, sure. For, sure. for yeah. sure, we'll have a soundboard and stickers. Yeah. Uh, let's. What's it? Binasuan. Oh, uh, that's t- that's number one. It's the one with the cup. Because everyone gets wet. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I don't know this one. Oh. <laughs> You should it's watch. The, you should watch videos. You balance a cup of water on your head. On your head and like right here. In and your, your shoulders, your knees, and your toes. Really? But your, no, you. Your armpit. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. And then you put it in your fingers too, right? It's almost like pandango sa ilaw, pero. But with water. Yeah, but with water. Yeah. Yeah. The water bending. Yeah. Versus the fire. All right. How about this? Okay, draft. You draft the best things about Filipino American history month oh, in general. Man. Best things about Filipino American history month. Well, the first thing that comes to mind is all the. Uh, You're gonna go first. Cool. Filipino <laughs> so flavors conflict? at Wonderless Creamery. Don't they always have that? 
They, they have, have a couple. They but, have at least but two. For, for like year round, they have is two. But what for is this th- month? They have like extra. What are some like offshoot flavors? Pinak bet. It's always some like long. It does not yeah. need to be that long. <laughs> Pinak bet you it's this good. Karakade ice cream. Karakade. Oh, I would. I would. Yeah, I would. Especially with little chunks of peanut butter. Ox- beef. Dude, as yeah. long as it's served in a cool whip container. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's basically uh, our ice cream. Like, dinner going in the fridge. Mm-hmm. The ice cream. Yeah. And instead of a cone, it's rice. Nice. Oh. Ice uh, cream. Would you eat? Would you eat an ice cream if it, it was delicious? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I mean, delicious. Like delicious. Delis, 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 that's a good name. Delicious. That's what I always comment on. If there's like a influencer who does a delis uh-huh. video, I'm always like delicious. Delicious. <laughs> and I was like, that was so good. Like, <laughs> you can have that one. Yeah. Dude, when we did our video, or not saying we're influencers, but we did our bear joke one. Yeah. I was reading the comments. Dude. Some of them were fire. They were so good. Do you remember any of them? Yeah. No. We gotta, we gotta do a part. part <laughs> two. We're gonna do a part two with the comments, but one of them's like, because he's like, who fixes the car? MacGyver, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What tool does he use? A screwdriver. screwdriver. Oh, damn. It's so good. Dang. Yeah. Wow, you're interrupting our conversation. Wow. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Barely <laughs> nice. Nice. It happens. Bear. <laughs> Cut for dead time. <laughs> um, okay, so you, you picked the Wanderlust flavors. I'm gonna go my first draft because it oh, affects shout out, me. Shout out to their San Serval ice cream. Nice. Bro. Oh yeah, Sando Serval. What? It's San Serval. San Serval. That sounds no, like a prince. It's no competition. What? It's San Serval. Oh, 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 oh. Galing. <laughs> That's another song. <laughs> Galing. Oh, Galing. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to do. I think my for my pick, it's going to just be like getting booked because I'm brown and people want to hire Filipino talent. No, that's good. Thanks for, thanks for all the money. Did you do any multi-generational gigs where there's like titos and titas are just confused by the magic that you're doing? Oh, yeah, Sipa. Like, no, <laughs> no oh. it wasn't. No, not, oh, you did a not kick? Sipa. Um, oh, you did the... I did the Sipa Gala. Oh, Sipa Gala. Yeah. And it was, there's kids, there's adults, there, I don't Were know if you there was referred like. Referred to as gargantuan. No, I was referred to as uh, demonio. Whoa! He's I, demonio. I use that to clean my glass. What? <laughs> Demo- <laughs> ammonia. <laughs> ammonia. Never mind. Uh, cool. <laughs> that smells bad. Strike one. <laughs> Two more strikes. Did they, throw, <coughs> did they throw a rosary at you because you're demonio? No, I brought my own. <laughs> But, but was it candy? <laughs> yeah. No, Instead you know what I get? It's the No, you know what I get a lot is, um, so if I do Filipino events, I guess any event I do is like, oh, can you come, can you come show magic to my Lola or my Lolo or like my aunties? Hmm? And I always have to gauge like, is this going to be a good experience or like a, like they're not going to get me at all, mm-hmm. you know? And so I latch on to, because someone was like, oh, come show magic for my aunties. And there was three aunties, right? One, two, three. And then there's an uncle that came up. Oh. And he seemed really interested. Yeah. So I, like, played more. Like, I did the magic for one of the aunties, just so everyone's included. Yeah. The, the eldest one, because I was raised right. Yeah. Duh, um, yeah. Respect your elders. Right. Uh, but then I played towards the Tito, where I'm like, you know what I mean? Like, I was looking more at him. I, and I looked around, too, but it was more towards yeah. him. But then I, I realized that's such a bad move because after he wanted to talk for so long. Oh, you gave yeah, him that look, yeah. though. You know what I mean? That's why. It's that, it's that tornado of conversation. Yeah. That, you gave him the inch, but you got the oh, kilometer. I know, man. <laughs> Give a mouse a cookie, bro. Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh, you're very good. What's your name? Do you have business card? <laughs> like, I have a, like... Do you have your phone? And I did my dot because I have the dot card. Nice. And I, what's and that? I hit, you know, um, do you not know? No, I don't know what's dot. What's dot? What? No, I but I don't know. I really don't know what dot is. <laughs> so both the, the joke and the education? Affirmative. Okay, cool. 
So um, instead of business cards, I carry, it's called a dot card. And you buy it, it's on Amazon for like 10 bucks, 20 bucks. Uh But what you do is you set all your information. So it's like, do you have your phone on you? What? Wait, we're going to get a, we're going to get an actual. Get the dot net. Wow. That's blue. Oh. I swear it's not Bomba. Bomba. Oh, there it is. I know. Oh, it's RFID. Refit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, and then so what you do is you tap it on their phone and then all, oh, all your information's up there, oh. including like Venmo and Cash. <laughs> like, oh, nice. And you have your, your business telephone here too as well. Yeah. Yeah. Which is also good. my personal that's one. That's good. Uh, what is this thing that's only for <laughs> only only subscription yeah, based? Only... That's the only one that Tito really wanted. Oh uh, yeah, it's, it's a footpix. <laughs> From the comfort of my own. <laughs> From the comfort of my own comforter. <laughs> <laughs> the comfort of my own comfort room. Uh, all right, your pick. Uh, best part of fam. Oh, yeah, so the best part of fam, I mean, I didn't really partake much in fam, but I have noticed that there were a lot of, like, on TikTok, there were, like, a lot of videos of videos of showing or sharing, like, film artists um, oh, yeah, that are, like, that's independent. Dope. And, like, I liked some of those, so I need to go ahead and do my own research. There's a Yeah, I do that, too. I favorite those videos. Yeah. Like, there's this, this guy's song I saved, uh, Tylo. Tylo? It's called Big Flip. Um, oh, dude, yeah. And I listened to it. It's pretty dope. Ooh, it is. It's oh, good. yeah. I think the music video just came out. Yeah. It oh. reminds me of like. The guy with the tattoo on his. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It reminds me of like our generation rap. Right. Dude, I just yeah. heard Andrew E for the first time the other day. The, the rap where he's For the first the time? Yeah. Wait, wait, which party? The one where. Banyo like, Queen? That's yeah. That's always that that's, a great, that's a great one. To see in the playlist. <laughs> I'm your queen. Andrew that song e. is so good. Dude, Andrew E is fire. Shout out to Andrew E. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Yo, Andrew E, come yeah. be on our pod. Yeah, I grew Sponsor up. Sponsor us. I grew up watching you guys. Uh, we oh, just, just a self, self-titled song. Someone famous just entered the studio. What's it? Erla is here. Who? She's a supermodel, Filipino, um, and she she walks in like fashion shows. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Like cool. for Fashion Week and stuff. I walk stuff. in music shows. I walk in with the Lord. <laughs> I walk in tennis shows. Mm. <laughs> nice. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> All right, second round, draft. It's back to you. Future. Oh, what, did you what did you pick? Getting booked. Oh, getting booked, right. I think it's like all the, all the um, like Filipino... I mean, it's just like a, another reason to have an event. Mm-hmm. So it's like events and folks who don't have shows as consistently. Mm-hmm. Like I went to Filipino AF. Mm-hmm. So it was cool to see them back again. Like I hadn't been since. Oh, gives them <laughs> an excuse to gather. Yeah. So like since pre COVID? I think, yeah, 2019 Bro. was the last time mm-hmm. I saw them. For fam, do you. <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah. To only? I, I, all the time. I try to find like out. more than more than yeah. usual. Yeah, support. <laughs> Do you know what we're talking about? Yeah, of course. Yeah, dude. What else? So support. in February you like. Initial D. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So in February D. you're like. Research. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's it's yeah, it's. And that. then and then in March it's yeah. like. It's like that. Yeah. Research. St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. See the thing with October, it's more than just Filipino American History Month. It's also like Latin Heritage Month. So. Like half of the month. That's yeah, May, so. bro. You like what? In terms of this particular thing, that's May. Have a good time. <laughs> oh, you go twice a day. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, 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 yeah. A stig. Ha- happy fam. Wake up and yeah. go to sleep. Wake up and shake up. <laughs> shake and bake. Wake up and shake up. Uh, Dang. Be careful. You're gonna pull a muscle. <laughs> Just use a burlap. For like five minutes. Don't forget the burlap. The burlap. You pull a muscle for five minutes. Sit in burlap. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. 
my second God. time. I think I think okay. So my for my second <sighs> draft is um, it's just like <clears throat> I think it's I don't want to be this guy, but you know you like inspire the youth to like learn about where they come from. Just because yeah. like when I was younger, I didn't know we didn't nothing I did said Filipino American History Month. You right. know what I mean? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's it's just like a. Oh, college kids who don't necessarily um, identify with the culture or like relate to the culture as much. They, it's almost like an excuse to learn more about it, but at the same time, like they have permission. Right. And it's not, I'm not saying you need permission to learn about this stuff, but sometimes in personal development, you need permissions that you don't necessarily, you, you seek permissions you don't necessarily need. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Growing up, like I didn't. I I joined the Filipino club, but I also didn't know what fam was. I didn't know anything about anything. Mm-hmm. So and I was like, oh, cool. Like, is another excuse to learn? Or yeah. oh, that's right. this is what this month really is. Like, right. wow, this is kind of cool. And like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. You only got to gatekeep your culture. Yeah. Right. We're not the British. Mm-mm. <laughs> We don't build gates. <laughs> we don't build gates. Nice. Build gates. Uh, all right. Third round. I think we're just going to go to three on this category. Yeah, three's good. Getting close. Um, I'll go. You go. So I'm like a very like big sports dude. Um, so I actually really... You be collecting those jerseys that you bought on Heritage Yo. Day? Dude. Oh, yeah, that's true. Real, though. And then you wear it at the next Joe Boy show? Oh, man. <laughs> yep. Get called out on that. You know? Um, but, yeah, like, seeing all those, like, you know, not free stuff, but included stuff with your ticket. Mm. Um, yeah, like, that stuff from, for Filipino, Filipino Heritage. Nice. Then you see, like, some sort of performance at, like, a big stage, like an NBA stage or, like, an NFL stage. You know, I mean, Jabawakis. some small. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Jabawakis, the Gabas. Moderns, you know, everything, but um, yeah, and then just like seeing all those apparel come out and like rocking that, that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I, I think that's that's pretty dope. Yeah, my, my first Dodgers game was for uh, the Filipino jersey last year. Oh, those shoes, I'm not a Dodger fan, but those jerseys are sick. Oh, the new ones, that yeah, yeah, like the, the ones with the Filipino like sun, right? Yeah, I don't know what the ones for this year look like, but uh-huh. the ones I got. The one I got last year was like, yes, yeah, it was cool. Yeah. It's funny because I finally have a Dodger thing. That I think it was a Dodger one also, in LA. but there was an event the day right after, and it was Filipino, and everyone was wearing that jersey to the event. I'm like, ew. <laughs> ew. <laughs> you didn't labada your fucking yeah. jersey? Did you guys get a group rate? <laughs> <laughs> Buy one, get one event. <laughs> Buy one, take one. Buy one, take one. Boto. <laughs> Boto. Uh, All right, my third pick is the... I can use it as an excuse to culturally guilt someone. Ooh, okay. (laughs) Just like being a funny dude. I'm like, you know what month it is? Mm. (laughs) It's it's October. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, whatever. Yes. To kind of go off of that, I have some, like, folks that I'll encounter. Like, oh, I wish there was more Filipino, Filipino events or, like, specific, like queer Filipino events or whatever, I'm just like, here's the full month. And then yeah. when I invite them to the things, they're always busy. I'm just like, right. you have no loyalty. Yeah, I know, dude. Where's your allegiance to? <laughs> the flag. The, f- the wrong flag. <laughs> the wrong flag. Um, anyway, yeah, the, the rest of your fam, how is that? Not your family, your Filipino American oh. history month. Because Heritage Month is in April, I think, or May, right? Filipino American Heritage Month? Is that in May? Yeah, I think that is in May. Or is it in me? No. Um, mm. No, the rest of the family is good. Did you do anything like event specific wise? or I mean, other than your undercover activities? <laughs> Magic Eros? Mm. No. Yeah. Yeah, that one, Dre Magic Dude, he's a. Uh, He's all right. He's a pretty, pretty good magician. Yeah, and Pancit Molo. Dude, okay, so listen. Full disclosure, <laughs> we're shooting this before that show happened. <laughs> and I just told them, just like act like after, but like. 
But we, then why did you tell us if you're going to just I didn't, say I didn't before? expect to do that whole thing. That but. one trick that you just did? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Galing. No, you like the cards. My set. <laughs> now I got to I'm like, fuck, what did he say in the pod? Now I got to do it in the show. <laughs> when he took the green card <laughs> and became a citizen <laughs> <laughs> without marriage? Wow. So Galing. naturalization. Galing. Galing. Um so we're introducing a new magic arrow that night, and I'm pretty Ooh. excited. Wow, a magic yeah. hero. A magic hero. Now there's five. Now there's five. So what our plan, we're planning to do is we're trying to expand, but not everyone's going to be in the live show. Oh, oh, tatlo. Oh, oh, oh tatlo. Tapa, tapa. Tapa, tapa. I don't have anything to do. <laughs> Do you do that? What are we going to count? Yeah. It's like, which one's five? So, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're, we're introducing new Magic Arrow. Um, so we're, we're, I think by January, we're going to have added four more. Wow. But they're not all going to make it into the live show. Mm-hmm. They have to and fight. <laughs> Battle. <laughs> yeah. It's like a conglomerate. Um, yeah. It's like drumline. What do you got to yeah. do? Ooh. <laughs> Dude, you gotta bang your yeah, drum. Yeah. Bang your drum. <laughs> um, but we're rewriting the show, so next year's show is gonna be completely different. Where instead of sets, it's gonna be a four man act the whole time. Mm. So we're like really, oh. really excited about like that. Like George? Like George Foreman. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Wow, there's four of the men. Yeah. <laughs> Jorge. <laughs> Because they're all magicians. Dude, I know someone it'd be really young. Witches. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? I said because they're all magicians. If they're women, they'd be witches. Oh. No, dude, if they're women, they're uh, maginas. <laughs> wow. Isn't that, Va- what a ma- isn't that what a mannequin has? <laughs> a magina. <laughs> that was some old joke, some like magician said. Good shout out. Oh, hilarious. Uh, what was I saying? Fucking. Fam. Yeah. Yeah, Magic Arrow, there's. Magic Arrow. There's George Foreman. Oh, yo. So I met somebody, and you ever, like, Ooh. talk to someone? Not like that. Oh. Um, but, but it is. You ever talk to someone? Because it was, it was like, a, like a college mentor thing, where it's like, teach them how to use cool yeah. or whatever. Right? And they're so young. I'm like, hey. Do you know Ice Cube? And and in my head, I'm like, they, they only know Ice Cube as a the actor. Actor. It's yeah. A big th- yeah. I'm like, you know what Ice Cube did before? She's like, oh no, rapper. And I was like, cool. What about George Foreman? And she's like, the grill guy. <laughs> I'm like, what about before? And they got confused, and I'm like, oh shit, I'm old, bro. Dang. You don't know George Beforeman? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and he was, was a like, really good rapper too. <laughs> <laughs> he was in Ride Along for. Yeah. <laughs> Have you guys seen any? This is more of like a. I mean, I guess all podcasts are just like fucking around, right? Right. But um, I've been spending a lot of time with like family, and we we're talking about older movies. That's what my draft was. Ah, uh, older was, movies. Uh, bad movies. Oh, like guilty, like really good bad movies. Oh, that's. But maybe next well, next episode. Next we'll episode, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but we're talking about this movie called Best of the Best. Have you seen it? Yo, it's a martial arts movie, and the whole premise is like Team USA versus Team Korea, right? Mm-hmm. And um, the guy, the villain that they got, because you know it's it's a martial arts movie, but they're human still, and I'm like they're just gonna get some like. Like Wano Mass or whatever, they got the most sinister looking alive human I've ever seen for a martial arts movie. He's like, because they're, they're fighting Team Korea, right? Because it's like, yeah, or whatever. But this dude is fighting and he's like the champion, world champion of everything. And this motherfucker is like wearing an eye patch. Ooh. And he's just like knocking fools out with an eye patch. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. His name is Dehan. Oh, Dehan? Dehan. And the coach in that movie is uh, James Earl Jones. <laughs> no yeah. way. It's so good, man. Nice. We what? gotta watch it together. How it's old is so this good. movie? It's like 
87 it came out, probably. Wow. Or 90, like 91, around... That was like the mythical, not pinnacle, but mythical. <laughs> the mythical of yeah, movies? Of, of kung fu martial arts movies. Yeah, Actually, I no, that's so. not a movie. Um, cool. Who's the guy that plays... Who's the guy that plays the fat dude from Rush Hour? The white... The Seafall? Like the... The guy who sells Chris Tucker C4. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's, Sean Penn? He, no, no. Uh, Chris, I think it's Chris, Chris Penn. It's his brother. Sean Penn's brother. Yeah, Chris Penn. Yeah. Chris Penn is in Best Chris. of the Best. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Who's pretty. the guy with the teeth? His brother? Nee Penn? <laughs> <Nee Penn. laughs> no, you're a machine, man. Oh, dang. Uh, you can count it. <laughs> what is that? Teeth? Yeah, teeth. Nice. <laughs> Tagalog. <laughs> Happy fam. <laughs> the word for the day. <laughs> the word. The Tagalog word for the we day. We should do that. Yeah. The Tagalog word of the day. Teeth. Teeth. Sharp teeth. <laughs> like incisors. <laughs> incisors. Bite it. Bite it. Bite. You have to suck that. Just teeth. bite it. <laughs> Joe, bite it. <laughs> Joe, Joe, be dead. <laughs> I have one of those. <laughs> My poet is clean. <laughs> your poet is from need. your bidet. No high jet. Joe bidet. <laughs> no budget. High jet bidet. <laughs> no tabo. This is just bidet. A, oh, this is going to be such a horrible pod episode. <laughs> welcome to the Kalat pod. <laughs> yeah, welcome to your Kalat pod. 2022. <laughs> oh. Kalat pod, fam edition. <laughs> Kalat pod. <laughs> What else did you do for fam? I've been getting booked a lot. I did a bunch of shows. Um, I did a walk around show. So I, there was one day where I did two shows. <laughs> <laughs> like I know, I know what you walk like the what that means. Yeah. But it just in my head, I just imagine an open field, just walking around. <laughs> Is it time yet? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so walk around. Ready, around. go. Yeah. Have you done the reach around? Wow. <laughs> no. Oh. It's extra. No. Not during fam. You know what month it is? <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's, a, have, that's I, on the other dot. Yeah, 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 you're right. You're on the other dot. Pulled out the wrong dot. Oh, dude, what if you t- you had two dots and one's for like your spicy content? Ooh, yeah. And you give them the wrong one. So I was doing this. I was doing this. <clears throat> uh, Reach around? The one. <laughs> walk- I was doing this gig, right? There's a day where I had to do two gigs. One was like a stage show and one was like strolling magic. Right. Uh, For the viewers who don't know what, what you do when you walk around. Please elaborate. Oh, I, I do magic for a living. It's like I'm a magician. But it's like you walk up to groups of people and you oh, do yeah, magic, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. So um, for, <laughs> for strolling magic or yeah. table hopping, a.k.a. walk around. I got kicked out of the club <laughs> when I did the table hopping. Table, <laughs> Band. table dancing. Uh, well, that's when you just like wander throughout an event and, hey, you want to see some magic? You do magic, and you do it for like, all right, do that for like two hours. Do people say no if you walk up to them sometimes? Not at private parties. At restaurants, they do. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Because, um, you know, sometimes they just want to have a conversation with who they're with. Right. Yeah. It's a lot. You know what? Most of the time, it's archetyped, right? So uh, the people that say no, if it's a dude, he's really alpha male and doesn't want to be bothered on his, what he thinks is a date. Right. Yes. Um, but usually the girl will be like, I want to see. And now he has to agree anyway. I want to see it. Then, then I'll do like one trick, try to make him look good, and I'll just bounce. Mm. You know what I mean? If it's the woman that says no or the female passing one that says no, um, I'll just like, oh, something's going on. Mm. You know? Like right. It's like That's a lot true. more serious. Yeah. Um, I've never seen... A woman who doesn't want to see magic. Yeah. It's like they always want, oh, I want to see a magic show or whatever. Yeah, yeah, if anything, and then I catch a vibe, and if they're, they're not into it, I'll just finish my one thing and leave. Um, but there's the one girl at the party, mm-hmm. she's like, oh, can you show my uh, grandfather a magic trick? I'm like, okay, cool. And I was like, hi, what's up? I'm the, and she's like, oh, he doesn't speak English. <laughs> so he spoke only Spanish. Oh. So it's like, what do I have that's just like visual? You know what I mean? And right. Luckily for me, like magic is highly visual. Right. So I didn't really have to search hard. But like every time I like I did the SpongeBob thing, you know what I'm mm-hmm. talking about? Mm-hmm. 
And then whenever the reveal came, he like cussed at me in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> like, puta madre. I, I know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> Oi, coño. I'm like, I know what that is. He called me corn. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not uh, right. But then he gave me a tip at the end. Nice. Like, he, he was like, OG, he like shook my hand. And I'm like, what's this paper? Like, oh, it's money. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's cool. Yeah. Um, so shout out to y'all. Hopefully y'all can come to the event. Or have been to the event when the, this releases. Yeah. Leave a review. Comment review. Leave a review. Um, yeah. What else has been going on, fam? Halloween. Yeah, hello Halloween. Hello Halloween. Ooh. What is like, if you can, no budget, infinite budget, what would be your dream? <laughs> no budget? Wait, 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 what? Wait, yeah. no, no budget? If you had infinite budget, what would be your dream Halloween costume? Oh, man. That's a loaded question. Optimum Prime. Optimum <laughs> <laughs> Prime. <clears throat> when I have like dressed up, I've been like Jim from the Office level of Halloween, <laughs> where cool. like I, I have I have friends who it's have like, a makeshift. like they they had jobs where they had custom name tags made, mm-hmm. and then when they quit their job, they're just like, oh, I don't want this anymore. I'm like, oh, yeah. let me take it. Nice. So one year I was Matt. <laughs> Matt Matsumoto. <laughs> Holy crap, w- dude. Working at Holy Family. So I think this year I'm going to be a, a Jason. Jason Chu? Like a Jason? No, a different, a different Jason. Mm. A Jason. A Jason? Next to... Right next to... The bathroom. Tangent. <laughs> Tangerint. Tangerint. Then we were all orange. Mm. <laughs> what have been... What have, okay, what are your uh, past costume highlights? Like, what are the doper costumes that you've been... Bro, I was speed racer nice. when I was nine, and I got so much crap from my Tito. He would make so much fun of me. <laughs> what? How? Because <laughs> oh, your speed, you're well, fast. You're a well, speed racer. You're so, where's your car? You're so fast. You're only nine. <laughs> where's your chimpanzee? You're so, where's your mock pipe? You only have mock dough. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he said? Like legit said? No. <laughs> but yeah, I, I wore that. That was probably one of my favorite ones. But it was super tight on me. Like it was meant for an eight year old, but I was nine. Oh. Bro. <laughs> Audacity. Yeah, that, like I know we're supposed to lie at the restaurant, but <laughs> right, right, not right. with the costumes. All right. Um, let's do Never Have I Ever Costume Edition. Ooh. Have you ever been Power Ranger? Yeah. Wait. Uh, yes. What do I do? Oh, we couldn't finger afford down. The drink. <laughs> Finish my drink. Oh yeah. yeah. Finger down if you have been a power. If ranger. you have been a power ranger. I think so. Without the. Doesn't without matter. The... A power ranger. No. Okay. You got one. You want me to just keep going? Yeah. Keep going. Batman. <laughs> Dude, my dad was Batman like eight <laughs> years in a row. <laughs> Dude, I, I have an adult. As an adult, like hell yeah. Well, cause you know, like when. We're little kids. Yeah. The parents got to go with us. Yeah. So my dad always just put the Batman mm. hat. Actually, Halloween's his favorite holiday because that's when you get free stuff. Yeah. <laughs> just like your dad, my dad wears the scream mask with the whole, like the whole scream thing the past like eight years. Nice. Was it the, the one where you... S- oh, no. We were that, <laughs> squeeze we were that rich. With the blood. <laughs> yeah, that one was cool, though. No, it was just the mask. Um, a ninja. Oh, totally. I was I was so many ninjas, so, so many <laughs> so years. many iterations of ninja. Yeah. Ever. Oh, dude. Uh, the one time I was like supposed to be like Super Saiyan, so yeah. I just wore my Taekwondo uniform. Yeah. And I had like yellow gel. Oh, oh. nice. The color gel. Mm-hmm. The ice gel. Remember, remember yeah, ice gel? Ice. In that big tub. Dude. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Where well, you got it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this one was in like a squeeze bottle, but then it's like oh, yeah, yeah. super strong hold. Oh. Um. For one year, I was. Quail man. Oh, that's Dude. pretty good. Because I needed like a quick, like, what do I have? Yeah. I'm like, I got underwear. I got a belt somewhere. Yeah. I still got have my white Green dress. sweater vest. Yeah. Uh, Pork so chop. Quail man. Another good one. Comic book character? Or do you want to s- specify? Who, me? Oh, I never have I ever. Or are you just still listening? Oh, I'm just, I'm just still listening. Oh. Um, unless you have one. Have you ever been like a gender swapped like costume? Like, for this year, I was Dora. Nice. Yeah. It's pretty good, actually. Sidoro? <laughs> Mask of Dora. Dora. Mm. <laughs> Should be Darna. Oh. Comic book hero? Comic book hero? I was, like, I was like Wolverine. 
I was time. Batman oh, a few but, years for yeah. a few years. Nice. Ninja Turtle. Is that Man, how do you guys have, have these costumes, dude? You know, Spirit like, Halloween. Well, they yeah. they were hand me downs from like other family yeah. members. Mm. Dude, yeah, actually, the, like, the Wolverine costume, the Wolverine costume that I had had a foam insert for uh-huh. like muscles. Oh, <laughs> I remember those. those it was ones. like a seven or eight year old or something. Dude, I remember it was. So I I didn't grow up in the best neighborhood when I was like super young, right? Where like when your parents don't think you remember anything, but you remember. Yeah, yeah. I was like four or five. And I remember I was about to get in a fight with like the neighbor. <laughs> so I go and I put, I legit put on all the Batman shit. Yeah. Like, like, cause it, it looked sharp, but it wasn't sharp. Yeah. Like, they were like gauntlets and like elbow things. And I'm like, oh, fuck. oh yeah. <laughs> he didn't know I'm from the League of Shadows. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um, Trained by Russell. But like, Bull. we ended up getting there and we're just like, we like squared off, but nothing happened. They're like, fight. And I'm like, and I was like over it at, at the time. Yeah. I'm like, I'm gonna ride my bike, man. Yeah. <laughs> just, just I'm gonna get more candy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Halloween, do you guys usually do the Halloween things? Like the maze theme parks? And I'm not, not really a Halloween guy. Like, I, I went to the, the pumpkin patch and that was pretty neat because. Um, Last night we actually made something from the pumpkin patch. Like we made curry. Babies. Ooh. What? <laughs> Cabbage patch. No, we made um we made pumpkin curry, uh, with shrimp, in the in the oven. It was amazing. It was so good. Pumpkin curry. Don't you use a different kind of pumpkin for that? Yeah, we used a different pumpkin, not the orange one, but mm. like a like a plump. Kabocha, the green one, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, Isn't that a squash? Yeah, they're, they're all gourds. They're all squashes. Pumpkin's a gourd. Is it? Mm-hmm. Kabocha is also in what? Tinigang? Probably. See sometimes. But we cut open it's in the pumpkin. Pinak Bet, right? Pinak Bet, yeah. It's the green outside and the, and the orange yellow. and the yellow yeah, orange. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we had that. But yeah. we cut open, you know, we scooped everything out. We put the, we put the curry inside. Let it bake oh. for an hour and a half. Oh, nice. you used it as a vessel. Bowl. Oh, it was a vessel. It's like the sourdough bowl, bread bowl. Exactly, but the, yeah. For you, like, Pate, it's... Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's go, go, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> okay, go on. Sigit. What is Sige. what is put it? Go ahead, it's start there. It's when you put it in your mouth. It's put it, put it in your mouth. Um, no, we had a when you yeah. take potatoes and it's you mash potato. them. <laughs> mash potato. <Yeah>. Mash potato. <laughs> See, just you can oh, oh. sweet potato. Sweet potato. <laughs> <laughs> For all of you listeners, potato is. Quite. Quite. Um, so for all you, it. it's like the sourdough bread bowl yeah, with sorry. clam chowder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for all you Italians, it's like a pizza, like a, it's like a bread plate. Oh, wow. Well, go on. Any more? Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. There's more. Yeah. A taco is a bread saucer. It's, l- it's like the, the, what's that? The shell salad. Tostada, <laughs> tostada, tostada yeah, salad. Yeah, yeah. Tostada salad. Shell um, salad. <laughs> what is I feel that? like that's just made by El Pollo Loco. I don't know if that's a legit. Tostada yeah. salad? To, like the tostada bowl. It is. It's good. I mean, I like it. It's good. I do too. El Pollo like, Loco, if you want to buy us. Here's the thing. It tricks you into eating salad. Because you're like, I'm going to eat the shell after. And most of the time, dude, I don't even finish that shell. I finished the whole thing. Like, there are times where I do. It's good. But like, sometimes in the middle, I'm like, yo, I'm full. I just took down a salad, man. <laughs> now, now I'm yeah. gonna eat chips. <laughs> Dude, eat the chips first. The salad. Thinking about like Halloween and trick or treat things of, reminds me of that Rex bit for like Halloween. Star Wars. Oh yeah. Well, not not just that one, but the like. Oh, this is when you trick or treating at a Filipino. Yeah. This is spare rib sinigang stew. Yeah. This is hot lugao. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Burn oh. a hole in your bag. I was like seeing on the memes of um, it's like fake Halloween, like honor system things. Mm-hmm. It's like t- take one bag of Sprite, <laughs> or it's like, there's like a cigarette, yeah, yeah. like one drag each. <laughs> I've never seen that. You ever seen those memes? Yeah, that's freaking dope. It's yeah. really funny, dude. Me or like Holiday like warm dude. scrambled eggs, <laughs> <laughs> and like the the pumpkin bowl. 
Is that, is that what you're giving me? You're giving me all that curry you made? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah just wait. I froze it. <laughs> no, you just... Big <laughs> soup bought yeah. Dude, actually, I was talking to my... Um, one of my uncles is from Scotland. Mm-hmm. And he said for Halloween, you know, it's like trick-or-treat. You know, here in the States, they just give you treats. In Scotland, they would ask for an actual trick. So you would have to go house to house and, like, do some kind of, like... Either, like, a party trick or sing a song or something. <laughs> you headbutt them in the face. <laughs> So one goes, I was like, man, that's like hard work. I don't want to go trick or treating. <laughs> Let's stay in this year. What do you think the the costumes trend is this year? Oh, dude, the Stranger. Oh, I mean, uh, Stranger Things. <laughs> stranger, Stranger Danger. Stranger Danger. Talk ball, look, talk <laughs> ball. Um, You're my only hope. I guess Stranger Things. Yeah, people have been doing that though. Right? Yeah, well. Yeah, because it just it ended right before summer, right? I, like oh, I like the Eddie. I always mm-hmm. like the um, Party City Halloween descriptions. Oh, those memes. No, those are real. Are the real bro. ones? Yeah. Oh, it'd the be like, it'd be like it because they want to avoid IP issues. Oh, right, right. So it'd be like Aladdin, but it'd be like Arabian kid. <laughs> yeah. Or Aladdin in costume. Yeah. Aladdin in a costume. Aladdin oh yeah. In a costume. <clears throat> or it's like. Optimus Prime. It's like truck robot monster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With flames. <laughs> Red honeybee for Jolly Bee. It's a Jolly Bee costume. Okay. So, Halloween, film history month, you're talking about representation. You're talking about, sometimes you're talking about appropriation, right? Mm-hmm. Where's the line between, you know, there's this whole movement of it's, my, co- my culture is not a costume. Right. Where's the where are the where are the lines there? Is it you just stay away from everything cultural? You know what I mean? Like is dressing up as Jolly Bee a costume? Yes. Yes. Is it offensive to the culture? No. No. Okay. <clears throat> what if you go as like Lapu Lapu? Like fish? <laughs> like the like the the chief? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the, the chief oh. who killed Magellan. I mean, if you're honoring it. I think it depends, like the intent. Yeah, yeah if you, if okay, you, okay, I think okay, it's like, wait. like you're, you're saying with, uh, like jokes and using the accent for right, jokes. Right, right, right. It's yeah. like if the joke is the accent itself. Well, it's different because like it's Halloween, it's a costume. Right. So there's no, there's not really content. Like you know what I mean? It's, if I were you're just dressing up, if I were a Barong Tagalog and just I said I'm going as Emilio Aguinaldo, <laughs> like is that? Dude, that's dope. Yeah, well, that's pretty, it's, pretty, yeah. it's pretty makeshift. Yeah. But Why well, you got to pick somebody? Why can't you just be <laughs> formal, formal Filipino boy? <laughs> <laughs> I am at my adding's first uh, christening. Who are you supposed to be? <clears throat> You're Nino. <laughs> <laughs> Manopo. <laughs> With my respect. Uh, okay, so what if someone goes as like Manny Pacquiao? He's, they're just doing their job. He's just doing <laughs> yeah. their job. Job fierce. <laughs> Hot dog. Um, okay, as, Filipino as guy a, going as Manny Pacquiao. Cool. I think that's it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Like a what? What? What era of Manny Pacquiao though? <laughs> no fear. No fear with the with the, 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 the ice tips. tips. Oh, that's ice it. tips. No fear. That's Yo, dope. if I see anybody out there with that costume, twenty dollars on the spot. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, full, no. full commit with the full with commit. the tattoo. Yeah. The third nipple. Yeah. And the pencil. Thing. Yeah. And the mustache. And the translator. Uh, <laughs> you gotta go. Around. You gotta get Freddie Rooks too. Fred, you mean, man? And Bumble. Yeah. The whole Dude, shebang. The whole entourage. And Batista? Yeah. Yeah. Was, that, was that when Batista walked him in one time? Sorry, it was already past. Yeah, it's yeah, 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 true. You got trick or treating. I got your candy more. He said trick or treating. <laughs> You ever a translator? Yeah, he said trick or treats. <laughs> Who are you supposed to be? I'm his translator. <laughs> he translated to him. Yeah. Yeah, man. Can we on? Can we? He said, You got this. It's, it's boo boy. <laughs> Dude, um, what if Brandon Vera dressed up as Monty Pacquiao? That'd be pretty dope. That'd be pretty dope. Is that appropriation? 
Ren Rivera's Filipino. So no. I don't think it's appropriate. What if? Here we go. <clears throat> I don't think I'm allowed, because we're live. I don't think I'm allowed to say this live. Oh. What if? Say it dead. What if a certain political figure uh -huh. from the Philippines uh -huh. dressed up as Manny Pacquiao for Halloween? Full commit, no shirt. For appropriation? No, that'd still be his costume. Is that still okay? Okay. Just because people don't like, majority right. of people don't like it. So what if Donald Trump dresses up as Manny Pacquiao for Halloween? Does he know the history about it? <laughs> <laughs> but full commit. Yeah, full commit. Full commit. He talks like it too. He has yeah. a translator. $20. Okay, so that. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. And that's appropriation. <laughs> right, so where's the line, right? Like, is dressing up... Okay, I, I understand dressing up in a kimono and, like, geisha wear is fucked up. But what if your favorite thing is Mulan, right? Like, where's the... And I know the lines aren't always going to be black and white, right? right? But, like... <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I think, I think like, Halloween's... Example, right? yeah. Sorry, real quick. Um, like, for example, you, you have a daughter. She's white. Well, her favorite thing is Mulan. We have a daughter, she's white, and her favorite thing is a little mermaid. <laughs> nice. She's black, she's black now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Is That's that appropriation? One. I think I think it depends on like if it's like if it's a white If it's not making fun of it, right? Right, yeah. If it's like, oh, this is my favorite character, I like the story. And you know, it also just comes with Halloween, where it's like this is a time to like dress up. But then if it's like a I think maybe it's a little bit more temperamental outside of the ho holiday of Halloween? Yeah. <clears throat> I was doing a gig one time and I saw this guy dressed up as a luchador. I was doing magic, right? And he had the gold, the gold mask, full gold mask and a suit. I was like, oh shit. It's Ramses. the great, it's the great Ramses. <laughs> Ramses. Right? And I'm like, he's the number one. Dope, con dope costume, Ramses. And he's like, no, I am this, this, and this. I looked at my... It's a real person. Like, yeah, that yeah. character was based off a real wrestler. Yeah. It's like, oh, fuck, dude. I didn't know. Sorry. That's pretty dope. Yeah. Nice. Which is, like, wild, right? Because it's... But is it also... What were you getting at? Like, is that... No, I was like, oh, shit. Nacho Libre. That's a cool... Like, I was connecting with it. Yeah, yeah, Right. Yeah. And he's like, <clears throat> oh, man. Everyone makes that mistake. It's actually... I don't know who the name was. It's this person... I was like, oh, that sucks. I feel bad, you know? Right. Yeah. But he made you look it up. I mean, he didn't make you look it up. You, you wanted no, I was, to I was lying. Uh, I didn't look it up. He told <laughs> me. He, told, he just told me. Oh, okay. He's like, it's a real guy. But he made you more aware. Yeah. Right, right okay. that's true. He, ta that's he taught fine. me something. Yeah, that's fine, right? right? Right. But he was also a Mexican dude. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he was also of the culture of the thing. Yeah. Right? Um... What are what are costumes that are like off limits? Always blackface. Yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. Okay. We never do blackface. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> that wasn't what the question was. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. But that's like always off limits. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, yeah. PSA. Just wanted to put us that here from on this whole podcast. Blackface never. Yeah, don't do that. Um, okay. If you think it's him, don't do it again. <laughs> what about white face? I like the movie White Chicks. Oh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> was it the Wayans Brothers? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was a great movie. Mm. Um, no, that's just like our regular life, right? Yeah. Papaya. So we're, we're, trying yeah. to, we're trying to achieve that on the... Yikes. Uh, stop using it. Um, Dark is beautiful. What are like some budget... I mean, we're going to wrap up this episode. What are some budget costume ideas that you could do next year? Because we're going to release this after Halloween. Right. Or some easy, <clears throat> like everyone does the Superman like, T-shirt like with the white Phil color. Filipino it's edition, so good. or just so in Filipino edition, or random. Yeah, just whatever. Well, like I was thinking, it's like you can go buy a, like a a long dress from Goodwill and just be a Lola. Nice. Carry it around the Willies. You can. Huh? Hot dog. Huh? Huh? I'm kissing you yeah. guys. You can. Oh, you know, what'd be cool. You do like a fishing pole with a spirit following you, and you're like bug bug. Oh, dude, wow. that'd be cool. Uh, wow. Are you gonna like carry around a cigar, be Larry Leung? 
<laughs> Wear the glasses. They always gotta hold it like that. Yeah. Like they're throwing up a gang sign. But it's always a cigar. Yeah. You could uh wear a polo with a Philippine logo right here, tuck it in and be your your dad. Anyone's or dad your, all of our dad. Anyone's yeah. dad or, yeah. or your Tita's roommate. Yeah. Your tita's. Any any black pants with a white collar shirt is a Filipino security guard. Yeah. yeah. That's true. With the, with the toothpick. Yeah. Toothpick and sunglasses. Yeah. yeah. I feel like vests are very Tito material. Like, I, I wear this, I feel very Tito. I don't know if it's just because my uncle wears you know a lot of vests. Yeah. The vest here, the, it's the vest and the sunglasses, for mm. sure. You know what I mean? Like aviators? Huh? Aviators? Any, like, aviators. sunglasses. It's yeah. true. You could put on a jersey, hold a basketball, and be Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you can stand next to someone wearing a jersey and be Bo Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but like in general, budget Halloween costumes, the Superman with the collared shirt and the glasses. And you're like, I'm mid transit. That might mean something else these days, but I'm, I'm going to be Superman. Yeah, I'm about yeah. to Superman right now. Yeah. You're about to Superman? <laughs> yeah. You. Yeah. Uh, soldier boy, tell soldier them. Soldier boy, tell them. Tell them, soldier boy. Uh, you know what's a really cheap costume is a mime. You just buy the face paint oh. and then wear like a white long sleeve and mm -hmm. a, like a vest in your mind oh um, i've done that and I've yeah, well, one of my friends was uh he just bought like sunglasses and then a, a mouse nose and mm -hmm. he was carrying around a cane Three and so, so, but he was by himself and he'd be like hey you see uh, two other guys oh, that look like me nice yeah yeah, yeah. Great. The, blind mice. Um, the lost blind mouse the, lice, the lost blind you, mice. you could wear a, a, a button-up white t-shirt with a black tie and hold a towel and just be a server Oh, that's good. Cool. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Um, the cheapest one I've ever done is, um, so I had to do a gig in costume one time. And uh, I was at my ex-girlfriend's place getting ready. And I just wore like, that's back then when I like wore a suit to perform. Mm. So I had the like white button-up shirt and a vest and the hat. And I, I like borrowed her eyeliner and I put lines right there and like dots. And I'm like, oh, I'm a ma marionette. Uh-huh. Mm. Yeah. And that was that was the whole oh, thing. I, see, I, I was see, just see. like, "I'm marionette. Can't you see the two lines? I'm, I'm a ventriloquist dummy." Yeah, duh. Um, mm. Final thoughts on fam and Halloween, Halloween and all those things. Go. This is just the episode about October. Yeah, <laughs> the October episode. Yeah, I think it's great. We should keep it going for every year. <laughs> <laughs> My two cents. Having, having October. <laughs> I don't Are think they're gonna get rid of October, bro. Quick line about Oktoberfest. Yeah. Drink beer. <laughs> Drink beer. Oh, I haven't done Oktoberfest this year. Well, you can't. It's not October anymore. Mm -hmm. Oh, right? According to earlier what you said. According to our recording schedule. It's October Pass. October, oh. Days of October Pass. October mm. Pass. Uh, well, because it's not October, all the things um, have been happened already. Go see a Magic Arrow show next year. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, Make love, make magic. Make love, spread diet. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. I was trying to think of your tagline. Make magic, what? spread love. Make love, spread die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Damn. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Make sure you follow us on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, here on Kumu, Apple... Pod, Apple Podcast, Spotify, Spotify Podcast, Spotify Podcast, um, and as always, don't forget your baon. Peace. O sige na pandis. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of Pandisol. And check out previous episodes on Spotify and YouTube. We also go live here on Kumu every Thursday at 8:30 p.m. PDT and Fridays at 11:30 a.m. Philippines time. Thanks for laughing and join us next week because there's enough pandisol to go around. And, and don't, don't forget, forget your baon! baon.